We are now just 87 days away from the opening ceremony of the 2016 Olympic Games. Ex You'll be there. I will be right there. there. Yep, excitement is building <laughs> even for those athletes who are training for the next Olympic Games. As the excitement builds for the Summer Games in 2016, imagine what it's like right now for those athletes getting ready for the Winter Games in 2018. No question, Casey Wickline is fast. Here's the thing, he's not thinking about summer. Not me, no. <laughs> what are you focused on? Um, 2018, um, Pyeongchang, South Korea is the home of the next Winter Olympic Games and, and that's where my focus is. For the past two years, he has been on the Team USA bobsled team, where most bobsledders are former college football players or track athletes. I'm kind of the oddball because I'm neither. I'm a fireman from Greenville, South Carolina, you know, so I'm kind of the oddball on the team. But it's not just about being fast. You have to be explosive. Well, ideally, you want your push athletes to be pretty big because if you have big push athletes, that means you're pushing a lighter sled. And then when you get in the sled, it's a gravity sport, so the heavier the sled and the crew weighs, the faster the sled will actually go. For Casey, the off-season training, a.k.a. summer, has just started. He's working out five days a week, eating tons of calories, all while watching the world get ready to celebrate the Olympic Games in Rio. It's actually really, really motivating. Continuing to give him the push he needs. Knowing it's getting that close and knowing that I can watch those athletes compete all summer, it's going to be very, very motivating for me to keep training um, for two years from now. So for the athlete, it is all about the training, no matter which Olympic Games they're training for. On the road to Rio in Greenville, South Carolina, I'm Nigel Robertson.